Hello everyone, I'm 10th Dr. Matt, and welcome back to my blue suit project, finally. So, I know it's been quite a long time since the last update, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering what's going on with this, and uh, so was I, actually. So where we last left off was, I think, back in, like, January, and um, basically what was happening at that point was that uh, I had sent a swatch of my blue fabric to Baron Boutique. This, this fabric right here. Uh, they really liked it. They said that they were contacting some local weavers to get it reproduced, which was sounding really awesome because, I mean, obviously woven would be better than printed. And then nothing happened for a while. Um, and, I mean, I didn't want to keep bugging them about it because I exchanged about a million emails and, and where we left it was they said, we'll contact you first as soon as we know anything. And so I decided to just hang back and wait to see what happened. Um, and I didn't hear anything for months. So I think probably two months ago, I sent them a quick email and I just said, hey, I wanted to know if there was any progress with this, what was going on didn't get a response, um, sent another email a few weeks ago, same question, no response, so I was really disappointed by that, and um, I decided to give it one last try, so uh, just two days ago, um, I sent a, like a fresh email instead of just replying to the thread, and um, I asked the same thing, I said, hey, I know you're working with your weavers, did anything happen with it, and finally I got a response, and sadly, it was not what we were hoping for. So all that they told me was that they got unexpected results from their weavers, and so at this point they're putting the project on hold and that they'll contact me if anything changes. So I'm taking that to mean that they are just suspending it indefinitely and that they're just not gonna do it. So, majorly disappointed and bummed out about that. However, um, the timing sort of worked out because, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar, but there's this uh, husband and wife run company on Etsy called Bad Wolf Costumes. And um, I follow them and they're, they're, you know, in some 10th Doctor cosplayer groups on social media and things. And um, the husband, Alex, has really gotten into tailoring and he's done some astonishing, very, very detailed study, basically, on the tenant suit and he ended up making his own, both brown and blue suit. He used Magnolia's fabric, but he made his own, and they've just recently made available his own version of the tenant suit pattern. So that's available on their Etsy store. Um, they will be shipping out, I believe it says on July 25th. So as soon as I saw that come up, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. So I ordered uh, the tenant suit pattern from them. So I'm very excited to get that because I, before that, decided that I would like to take up tailoring as sort of a hobby. So I knew I wanted to get into sewing, and so I put this bad boy on our wedding registry, and so got that during Allie's bridal shower, so super excited to actually bust that bad boy out. Um, just need to get a sewing table so I can have a proper little uh, setup, and um, so at this point, my blue suit project is um, turning into a, a, a do-it-yourself project, I guess you could say. Now, this is obviously going to take some time because you can't just buy a sewing machine and then go right ahead and make yourself a suit. Um, so I also picked up this handy little book that came recommended to me from uh, Alex from Bad Wolf Costumes as well as uh, my friend Josh. So. Definitely going to be studying up on that, and I'm going to start small. So uh, this blue suit project is probably going to take a much longer time than I originally anticipated, but that's okay. Uh, looking forward to it. So I'm definitely going to start small, so I'll probably make like a pocket square first, a tie, bow tie, that sort of thing, and then just kind of continually just ramp myself up until I feel that I'm ready to tackle the tenant suit pattern. So as far as the fabric is concerned at this point, my goal is still to use my own spoonflower fabric. So um, once I get to that point that I'm ready to make this suit and I'm ready to make it and not make any terrible mistakes, <laughs> I plan on buying some of that fabric and doing it. And hopefully the quality of the fabric will be high enough that it'll work. 
So that's basically it. Uh, to wrap things up, basically it seems like Baron Boutique is out of the picture at this point. And, uh, but thank you, um, Bad Wolf Costumes, for coming out with that tenant suit pattern. It was perfect timing, and I'm really looking forward to uh, starting on this serious hobby and then working my way up to making that tenant suit. So that's it on the Blue Suit Project for now. I will definitely keep you guys updated as far as uh, things that I've been practicing on. And um, I think my first reasonable goal is probably going to be to make a more screen accurate Kilgrave pocket square. That's all for now. I'll be catching you guys soon. And as always, thanks so much for watching.